just hours ago, Lassufer volcano erupted for the sixth day in a row, raining yet more ash on the island of St. Vincent, ash that has now contaminated the water supply. While those in the green zone are safe from the poisonous fumes further north, they have little to drink and are forced to travel to these temporary public pipes miles from their homes or emergency shelters. Today I'm here in San Lucie to get some water for my families and other people down in um, Brighton Camp because the water system is very tight down there. A few miles up the road in the red zone, the only thing breaking the silence, tractors clearing away mountains of dust. This is Georgetown, the most northeasterly town in St. Vincent. It is a very important town, the veritable capital for the northeastern part of the, the country. But as you can see around you, it is just scenes of devastation. The police told all residents to evacuate last week, but they too were later forced to evacuate. I caught them tentatively returning yesterday evening, a few hours before the latest eruption struck. It was the anniversary of the 1979 eruption, and though the memory of that event is etched in the nation's psyche, these residents have decided to stay put. My experience when 79, this one looked worse with the ashes. This hospital now lies empty. Its patients having been transferred 22 miles away to the hospital in Kingstown. It's the only public hospital in this multi-island country offering dialysis and cancer treatment. Some residents say it should never have been built in the red zone. At the weekend, a shower of stones ended our attempt to visit the villages closest to the volcano. Today, this is as close as we can get. The villages beyond this bridge are among the island's poorest, and who knows what will be left of them. When I went over to Rabukla and over the river, over there is very terrible. Over have it worse. 7,000 are confirmed to have fled their homes, and 3,000 had no choice but to stay in government shelters where we were not allowed to film evacuees. With volcanologists saying eruptions could continue for up to a year, it's unclear when they'll be able to return to what is left of their homes. And Kenton joins us now live from St. Vincent. If you're running out of clean water, is $20 million enough? Chris, $20 million, we might want to multiply that by 10 when we consider the damage to public infrastructure and to homes. And we have to remember that this is coming in within the context of COVID-19, straightened economic times. And a government is expected to support a large number of people for a very long time. Kenton Chance in St. Vincent.